another stop on the World of Beer Tour. I'm your host, Leah. And I'm Beth Ann. Uh, we welcome you to our second stop on Waking Lizard's World of Beer Tour. I apologize that we don't have as much visual aids this week as we did last time, but don't worry. Uh, it's kind of going to be a thing. Um, one of the options that we have available uh, to us at the Winging Lizard is a paddle. And for those of you who don't know what a paddle is, a paddle is a collection of beers, typically three to five. I've seen them up to eight. Eight ounces? That's my kind of paddle. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Eight different types of beer. Oh, eight different types of beer. <laughs> yeah. A good little sample sizes, usually right. four ounces. Yeah, or less. Um, <laughs> So just to get a great taste of that beer and a great variety, um, yeah. Mostly um, breweries will do this, right? So that you can taste everything the brewery has to offer at the yeah. moment. Uh, a lot of times they will be um, lined up from lightest to darkest, or they might have a paddle that is all of one different type of uh, beer uh, that we can have. Um, so. This month, uh, or I'm sorry, this week, uh, is the January Paddle, which the January Paddle didn't have anything in it. You could make your own, so... It was create your own paddle, yeah. and so I was like, boom, 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 and then she knocked off three of them. You made an all IPA. I'm a seasonal beer drinker. It's IPA season. No, it is stout season. Well, tell Bell's Hop Slam it's their fault because once that came on tap and I drank one, all I wanted is Hop Slam now. Hop slam forever. Bell's hot slam. I'm looking at you. Stop it. Too Never. much. Too much hops. Never. Too much hops. Never. <laughs> so anyway, so yes, but I did try them. Uh, there was one that I liked. One. We tried to mix it up. Yeah. So. So it was all hoppy. It wasn't that hoppy. Anyway, so uh, we have the January paddle uh, for us this year, uh, this week for you, and we've got one of the two first. Again, like I said two weeks ago, um, the weather. Weather, is, it warmed up for like the tiniest bit where it was manageable, and then snow. Snowstorm. And ice. Ice storm. So it went ice, snow on top of it, ice. ice. And... I had another snow day, which is unheard of for a college. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't guessed by now, she is a college professor. I do the math. <laughs> I don't do math. I do it all. Uh, <laughs> so it's really cold. So I am not craving IPAs. IPAs to me are still a summer thing. When I think of IPAs, I mean I think of India Pale Ale, where you are sailing you know, the Indian Ocean, and you've got this really bitter thing, it's real hot, that's what I think of. When's the last time you sailed the Indian Ocean? <laughs> it's, I never. I grew up in Lake Erie, so I oh, know that's a bit more really, about water. Yeah, like that's the Indian Ocean. It could connect in some obscure way. You mean connect, like, to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then go down or through, and then um, go under, and then there you are. Or you can go the other way, where you go that way. It's a wise way. Yeah. So, what else can we talk about? Are you smelling my hair? No, I'm um, like leaning. Oh. Nothing really. Mm -hmm. We just had our birthdays. What was it? We did. They're awesome. Yeah. Happy birthday, Leah. Thank How you. old are you? Don't tell. Don't tell. <laughs> I'm a grown woman, thank you. That's all anybody needs to know. I also had a birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday, Beth. Thank you. How Both old are you? Two weeks after you. <laughs> and a year. That's right. You're younger than I am. Yes. I hit a big milestone this year. And I kind of didn't really freak out at all. Nice. Yeah, I just had a good time drinking with friends up at um, our Thursday night dinners. A lot of people got me beer. I got pumpkin. Nice. It was delicious. And my friend Megan brought me two growlers. Were also very delicious. And Sarah got two growlers from our plant room. Awesome. So there's a lot of beer had on my birthday. There you go. <laughs> I celebrated my birthday by having a ball at a castle. Well, I was there. 
It was awesome. It was awesome. It was fun. The HP Ohio Crystal Ball. <laughs> so it was a formal ball. It was really great. A lot of great friends uh, up all night. And I had a gorgeous room. The oh best goodness. These room. rooms are just amazing. <sighs> in the ha- like best one in the castle. It was three stories. I had a tower all to myself. <sighs> I want to go back. Mm-hmm. Um, we will next year. Yes. yes. Hopefully for my birthday again. Mm-hmm. Yay! It usually falls around the time in between our birthdays. Yep. Okay, on to the beers. Beer! Yay! <laughs> so we started with New Belgian Fat Tire because New Belgian had just got released into Ohio in January. Yay. And a lot of people are really excited about this, especially uh, my soon to be roommate, Eric. He's just thrilled about Fat Tire. Yeah. Uh, Whole Foods is selling the <clears throat> six packs of them, uh, they're just everywhere. Uh, I, this is actually, um, this one was too bland for me. It, that, it was just too bland. It was a good Belgian. I guess, I like Belgians though. I compare it to Dortmunder. It is a good safe beer. Yes, yes. A good craft safe beer that I would drink and not think that it's selling out like Sam Adams does. On most of the stuff, but the reserves, top notch. Fair Lakes is going the same way. Just a note for all of our viewers here. Sam Adams is my favorite domestic beer. I grew up next to like Great Lakes, so yeah, it's it's all about Sam Adams for me. You put a Sam Adams in front of me, doesn't matter what the Sam Adams is, I will drink it. Austin Lager Light. Any beer that has to say light in it. Okay, well that's like on the last of the list, but I would drink that over Bud Light. I didn't even think over Bud Light. That's water. I know. But what I'm saying, as of light beers, like, there you go. But, you know, they do appease the masses. True. So, we started out. New off. Belgian Fat Tire. Yeah. Decent. It was decent. Um, didn't hit us over the head with flavor. No. Didn't really smell like much. Um, really light in aroma and flavor. Uh, it was crisp, though. Very crisp. I liked it. Yeah, the the carbonation was pretty light. Uh, it's a good golden color. Yes, yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, the only thing really going for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you're looking to get somebody into beers, this is a really great starter beer. That is a good starter beer. Yeah. Okay, so our next beer is Three Floyd's Alpha King, which I thought was delicious. I thought it was like drinking grass. <laughs> drink much grass. <laughs> it's, just, it's that piney, floral, woodsy aftertaste. It just really started. It was a really great amber color. There was really clear. It did have a very creamy head, which was surprising. You don't really see that with this type of beer. Yeah. Then, and it did have a tiny, fruity hint to it. It's a pine and grape. Right. And then the sweetness came in. The sweetness was all honey. I mean, it was just like, whoa, honey. And the aftertaste was really strong. It lasts for a long time, and it was like drinking grass. And I'm not the only person who who thinks this way. There was somebody who posted on a forum that said, "Yeah, it tastes like eating grass, but in a good way." And I don't understand how that's good in any way. But well, sure, maybe those hipsters like grass. Good yeah, lord, or... you're not going for the hipster crowd. Oh no. Maybe if I bring my hipster glasses next time? No. Next beer. Next beer. So, our next beer is Founders Red Rye PA. Yeah, get it? Rye, I. I like IPAs. <laughs> One of the things I liked best about the Three Floyds was that it listed on their website that the ABV was 6.66%. And the IBUs were 66 IBUs. So for those of you who don't know, ABV stands for alcohol by volume. When you look at proof or wine bottles and you see that percentage number in the little corner, that's what an ABV is. So what's an IBU? IBU is International Bitterness Units. So it rates how bitter a beer is. So some Imperial IPAs can get up in the hundreds. And most loggers and stouts like that will sit down in the tens. So, yeah, that's what you, that's kind of important. Now, of course, while one person may like 
an IBU that's 110, another person like me might be like, whoa, I can't handle anything over a 70. But they're not really all that published. Uh, sometimes uh, restaurants will post that up just uh, for people to know. Um, Especially if they're looking at um, IPAs and they want more bitter in their IPAs. Yeah. This is actually a really great IPA for me. I love uh, this type of IPA. It's not very strong. The, it's a very beautiful amber. Yes. It is also a really great amber color. The um, malt is nicely balanced with the hops. You can equally taste it. That's one of the problems that I have with IPAs and really happy beers in general is that I just get all hops. And mm. I'm a malt person. I, I love really it when am. they slam the hops into me. <laughs> really rings my bell. I like hop slam. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so it was it was a stronger than more balanced type of beer. The uh, the intensity of the finish was really strong. It stayed with you for a long time. Uh, this, this is what I would recommend an IPA for myself. Great uh, amber IPA. Is that all you can say? I is that really all? forget. <laughs> is that all the website told you? That's <laughs> all the website told me. <laughs> they didn't have much. Founders. Next is a great local beer. This is probably one of Columbus Brewing Company's most famous seasonal beers. It is the Bodhi IPA, Imperial IPA, which happen to be my favorites. Imperial IPAs are the best. Not um, for me. It's people all over the country love this one. When they think of Columbus Brewing Company, it's like the Christmas sale of Great Lakes. It's their specialty um, seasonal. So I found it great because it was a great hoppy IPA. Um, Imperials always make it so much better for me. Yeah, this is just way too hoppy for me. It, it was just mouthful of hops. There wasn't really much of a bouquet for me. Uh, just the aroma was good in that it preps you for all of those hops. So it wasn't one of those, oh, this doesn't smell like anything. Whoa! All flavor. Uh, it really, you could really feel the, smell the aroma and just, it did prepare me for it. I just really didn't like it. It was just too hoppy for me. It was delicious. I loved it. It was great taste, great aroma. It just knocks you on your ass with flavor, I feel. There you go. So th that was our Columbus, I'm sorry, our January paddle. Uh, four coming in paddle at Winking Lizard. Uh, I'm really excited for the next month. Oh, me too. Next yeah. month is going to be great because they actually list out beers to try. This is new for uh, Winking Lizard this year is a seasonal rotation list where if for some reason you can't get one of the five, like we still haven't. It still hasn't come to my daddy. I'm coming for you. Um, they have a list of something, a seasonal rotation that you can get for that's just as exclusive. Uh, they might have a little bit more of it you can replace it for. So uh, we will be exploring that come next month. Excellent. Uh, and then, of course, our last beer is the Twofer. This is pronounced Rusa. Rusa. What kind of beer is a Rusa? Let's look. It doesn't say. Um, it's a sour blonde ale. Ah, Ooh, this will be interesting. For me, the blonder, not the better. <laughs> I can choose to that. <laughs> this does not smell good. Ugh. It smells like tires. Rubber tires? No, just like rubber. Mm. Oh, that is sour. I like it. I don't. Oh, I like it. Okay, so we can tell that the head did not stay. Uh, I know. Pretty, pretty poor uh, for each of us. Very, it is. It gave me a lot of head. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Through the sourness, there is a hint of citrus. Typically, blondes you will see do have a lot of citrus to it. I do say it's the citrus, but the sour is just killing it right now. Oh, it's too much. It's like sucking on a Sour Patch Kid, except that there's no sweetness to it. Ooh, best part. Mm -mm. So this is a thumbs down for me. 
This is an okay one for me. I drink it. I'm good. Woo. So, we have a question from Allison. Uh, thank you, Allison, for writing in. She asks, what do you do for palettes? Every time she goes out, uh, you know, she'll jump from beer to beer and doesn't, you know, necessarily know. Our answer, water. Water helps cleanse the palate, but then eating anything like cheese, crackers, nuts um, will also help. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you want to get that flavor out with something salty or um, nothing really too dry sweet or yeah, something like cracker nuts to soak up the flavor. Yeah. Uh, it's also, you know, look for a health factor. I wouldn't add lemon or anything to it because lemon is a citrus, which can, the acidity can interact with different types of beers and, you know, ruin taste. But if you do go from a, say, a sour to a stout like a Guinness, that, that Guinness is going to taste a little off. Mm -hmm. uh, or vice versa um, you're not gonna get the full range that you are so really something simple saltine crackers water well thank you for meeting us on our second stop of the world of beer tour uh, we really enjoyed your presence and we hope that we will see you again on the next one don't forget to like our channel or subscribe to our channel subscribe. like our Facebook page and everything to get any updates on what's going on mm -hmm. anything else for them Leah uh, please remember that this channel is just for adults, and if you are one and feel that in addition to this you have a problem with drugs and or alcohol, we've provided links and telephone numbers so that you can get help. And remember to always drink responsibly. Never drink and drive. So if you need anything, call a friend, call a cab, or just plan to crash somewhere. Yep. Or you can drink at home. Like we're doing. <laughs> Stay safe, and we'll see you guys at our next tour. Bye! Ha ha ha!